Continuing coverage for you tonight, the long-term health effects of the water contamination in Security Widefield and Fountain will be under review next year. Funding for the study was secured just this week. News 5's Lena Holland talking with the doctor who will oversee the study in an interview you'll only see here on News 5. Lena's in studio. Well, the funding will officially kick in on January 1st of next year, and the research team at the Colorado School of Public Health plan to hit the ground running. What's unknown here is what are the long-term health consequences of exposure to these compounds, and this study will uh, begin to look at that. After drinking water was tainted in the security widefield and fountain areas a year and a half ago, which reports link to Peterson Air Force Base firefighting foam, many wondered if this could make them sick. Well, the things that we're going to look at are um, so, some liver enzyme tests and also some markers of immune function. We were there as Dr. Adgate introduced this idea to residents back in October. Today, his research team announced they got the green light on funding for the two-year study. I'm um, happy, I'm excited that we get to do the work. I, I know people are concerned. I mean, it's, it's um, an opportunity to do something that's important for public health in the state of Colorado and for the, these, pe these folks in particular. Uh, in fountain security in Widefield. He's hoping to find out how persistent these compounds are in a group of 200 volunteers, all people from across the three affected areas. Measure both their blood levels and uh, collect some household water uh, and, and look at the relationship between that and where they live, how long they've been living there, and some uh, markers of of uh, health effects. And regardless of the outcome of the study, he says the first order of business is making sure people are no longer being exposed. Trying to offer them what we can in terms of interventions that uh, assure that and answer other questions about, for example, you know, can we grow vegetables with this? And they will start looking for that pool of 200 volunteers in the first half of 2018, focusing on long-term residents. They're expecting to hold more public meetings to hear from the community before they move forward. We will continue to track this for you and let you know what happens. Elizabeth.